Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, boy. I had a feeling there was going to be somebody there. I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. We got the swordfish versus the abr which tactical rifle burst rifle that is is the best in black ops 4 both are very good weapons in my opinion and they do have their strengths and weaknesses and they do shine in certain situations more than the other weapon basically if you were gonna play in the called world league tournament and you're playing for lots of money and your choices are the abr or the swordfish which one are you going for i want to know down below in the comments let me know which one you would take with you and you would trust to help you win that tournament i just want to know the overall consensus of what the general community at least the people who watch my videos what they feel like is the better burst rifle we're going to go over the class setups real quick so the first gameplay is going to feature the swordfish so we got the swordfish set up right here and i'm rocking the reflex site then we got hybrid mags quick draw and the operator mod called the panzer burst now this one allows you to put in five bullets per burst every time you shoot the weapon and at times it will give you a one burst which means it'll kill the enemy like almost instantly now most of the time you're probably going to get a two burst but still that's not really hard to do now the one thing with the penta burst that i must add is that it does have a caveat and the caveat is that you have to get almost every single shot in you have to be super accurate and with the swordfish it's a little bit more difficult because there is no stock attachment available for this gun so that's why it makes it a little bit more difficult when enemies might be strafing left and right then i got stim shot because we are going to be playing aggressive today we're going to be pushing the weapons to the max as much as possible perk one there's nothing here so we're using crash and i'll explain why in a little bit uh, then we got dexterity because we are going to be playing aggressive like i said so we're going to want to move around the map as fast as possible slide around those corners as far as possible then we got dead sounds just to keep my footsteps sounds and so that the enemies do not hear mine all right then we got the abr 223 we got the elo site then we got stock and extended mags and the operator mod which which is the repeater this one basically allows you to hold down the trigger button essentially turning it into a fully automatic weapon the longer you hold the trigger button the shorter the delay is between bursts so it's essentially feels like a fully automatic weapon and this is extremely helpful in those close quarter combats especially when people just pop up out of nowhere all you got to do is just hold down the trigger point and aim and you should be good no perk one we got dexterity and dead sounds we're going to be using crash on purpose here with just the uav and the counter uav so you guys can form more of an opinion on which gun you think performed better so vote down below in the comments and let me know which one do you think is the better tactical rifle in the game the abr or the swordfish all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like it really does help the channel and subscribe if you're new around here turn on the notifications too by the way so you never miss another video all right you guys so this should be a fun one between the two and i will see you guys in the video peace all right you guys so i'm gonna try to keep most of my dis uh gunfights from uh distance not really going to try to be uh, too aggressive. Oh, baby. Come on. Oh, boy. I had a feeling there was going to be somebody there. I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm getting out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me let me just let me just chill. Get me up here. But yeah, guys, the swordfish, it shines from distance. So that's why I definitely recommend using it accordingly. Oh my goodness, I had to do a little bit of jump shot evasiveness right there. So they're going to be spawning in from here. Let me put down this ammo crate. I'm going to need it. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not going to push that. Actually, going to wait for him to come to me. I could go around and flank. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, I got a UAV. By the way, I'm using non-lethal score streaks. Oh, on purpose. I think I did see an AFK back there. Nope. Get me out of here. Oh, my gosh. I, I didn't know where to go right there. Pentaburst mod can be very deadly. 
Ooh, that was a nice move by that guy. He tried to blindside me. Okay, so they got a UAV up. Oh, and but what I was saying about the score streaks is that I'm using uh, non-lethals on purpose just so we can get the most out of this gun. Most of our kills are going to be... Uh, oh my gosh, I got to... I got to retreat on that one. Cuz I want most of my Oh my gosh, get off me. I want most of my kills to come from my scores uh my gun. Sorry guys. It's harder than you think uh doing live comms and talking while trying to make sense at the same time. So yeah, I want you guys to just judge the overall performance of this gun versus the ABR which will be coming up next. I might die. I might. Yeah, thought I could kill him right there. But yeah, it, this is kind of like a test drive. You know, we're on the racetrack. We're pushing the car to its limits. You know, we're making those really sharp turns. We're drifting. We're doing donuts. And we're trying to compare the overall performance. All right. So I want you guys to leave your comments down below. Oh, my goodness. Of course it goes for me. Leave your comments down below and let me know uh, which gun do you prefer. The swordfish or the ABR. Okay, looks like somebody's coming up here. That was nice. Nice. Oh, I should be getting those tags. I know some of you guys are probably complaining about that. Hey, man, there's a guardian right there. I can't get the tag. Let's watch our backs. Nice. That was a nice little hit fire. Okay. They really just stole my score streaks. Let's move around the map. Very strategically strafing right there. Even though this gun doesn't have stock, it's still a good idea to strafe. Oh my gosh. Watch my back, watch my back. Oh my goodness, flanked him. Oh yeah, going off, baby. Call this in. Where they at? Ah oh, man, thought I could get another hit fire right there. Okay, I, I'm I'm gonna avoid that smoke as much as possible. I don't know where that guy was going. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting shot. I'm gonna let teammate go first. Put that there. Hopefully teammates grab some. Okay, he's got the better better positioning right there. Yeah, I got one. One of two is fine with me. Oh boy. Yo, this map is very hectic. Okay, it should be coming right there. Dude, that's crazy. I just gave him a peek and he died right away. Oh boy. Come on, teammate, handle that. Let's pre-aim right here. Can we get the third? Nope. Not going to risk it. All right, should be one more. Actually, three. Dude, got to love the Penta Burst. Man, this is going to be close. What did we get? 40 and 8. All right, guys, 40 kills, eight deaths. Of course, I tried to play the objective as much as possible, but I, I just simply didn't want the game to end at times. Uh, but yeah, guys, Swordfish Pentaburst mod. I would say the Pentaburst mod is one of my favorite mods in the game, but this is why we have to compare and contrast with the ABR operator mod. The ABR operator mod is also one of the best operator mods in the game and we're about to find out why so i'll see you guys in the next gameplay we are back with the abr operator mod the repeater one of my favorites in the game but i do like both of these guns i just can't make up my mind i am leaning towards one gun though of course i'm not going to say because i want to see your guys's opinion uh by voting so make sure you guys vote you guys definitely decided that the kn was the best uh suppressor gun in the game hey i'll take this afk all day hell yeah dude what are these people doing in here what are they doing why are they just standing around 
Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yo, we are out of ammo. Someone's on my tail. I'll take that. Is he gonna turn around? Where's he at? Okay. Oh, we're on a merciless. Don't look now. Don't look now, I said. Oh my gosh. I, I really don't understand how I died right there. Or what, what was the reason? Somebody please tell me in the comments why did I die right there. Anyways. We're going to take that guy out. I'll tell you what, though. The thing I like about the ABR, uh, especially with this operator mod, is that it allows you to focus on those close quarter gunfights and just spamming uh, the trigger button without worrying too much about your trigger finger, like how fast you're pulling the trigger. Oh, my goodness. The Mog 12. I've said this before. There is nothing you can do against the Dragon Breath. Even if they get you a hit marker from distance, that's pretty much it. You're done. Got your teammate. Actually, I was too late. Wait for it. Okay. Had a little do some juke action right there. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. What are we at right now? 15 and 3. Plenty of time left to go on a streak. Take that guy out. There should be another one here. Not the guy with the Mog 12. No, thank you. I really want to push in there to get that uh, tag, but... Oh, wait. Teammate got it. No, I didn't need to. Okay. Enough hovering. I believe there's somebody up there. Take that guy out. You know what? I'm going to go around now for the flank. Uh, it seems like there's too much attention over here in the middle. So I'm going to go around for the flank. Let's be smart about it. Should be spawning in over here. Right on cue. There should be another one. Okay, you know what? Maybe I could go in for the flank here. Oh, yeah. He's in there. He is definitely in there. Let me... Whoa! Whoa! Hold on! Mm, okay. I'm staying the heck away from that robot. Get out of here. Is that it? I'm not wasting my time over there. Enemy CUAV. Yes, sir. Okay, we got our UAV. We're not going to call it just yet because obviously they have a CUAV up right now. Perfect. Oh, he nearly got me right there. All right, let's go around for the flank. Easy money. All right, this guy looks like he's alone in this room right here. Got him. I'm out here trying to make some minor adjustments. Come on. Spawn in, baby. We're on that merciless hype. Keeping my distance. I think somebody's trying to flank me over here. Where's he at? No, 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 no. Oh, boy. ABR. Close quarter combat. Let's go. Let's go, baby. No. Oh, my God. Uh, as soon as I heard that, uh, you know, somebody walking through the chain fence, man, I, I knew I should have just booked it and got out of there. So there's definitely some uh, situations that the ABR does better than the swordfish for sure. Come on, teammate. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. You cannot do that with the swordfish. 
calling this UAV. We got three seconds left to go in this game. Oh, that guy was a goner for sure. What do we got? 43 and 8. Man, very, very similar uh, score compared to the Swordfish as far as KD goes. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, the ABR and the Swordfish, they both have their strengths and weaknesses. And But, but there is a certain gun that I do prefer, but I think... Oh man, this is a tough one because you know one gun is good in certain situations and the other is good in others and One has strengths one has weaknesses, but there can only be one there can only be one tactical burst rifle That is the, the weapon of choice click on the link in the pinned comment down below and vote which gun you felt like is the better weapon overall so yeah guys definitely drop a like on this video show some support it really helps the channel grow it really does it shows up in other people's recommendation feeds and uh, gets more eyes on my channel and subscribe if you're new around here check out the rest of my videos on my channel and turn on notifications and i will see you guys in the next video peace hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace